Let's do one more, one, two, three, here we go, go. No scramble, better I think, possibly. Go, 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 go. Hi guys, Alex Peak Performance Reviews. Welcome to another vlog and welcome to another car review. Yes, I find myself in an EV. I've been in quite a few, but you've seen me in some petrol combustion cars. In fact, you would have seen me or hopefully would have seen me in the Amodo 5. Well, this is basically the Amodo 5, but electrified. And it starts at 35,000 pounds, especially for this model, which is a Noble. And um, if you go with the uh, Comfort model, it's actually only about 33,000. So you get a lot of car for your money. Uh, 0 to 60 in 7.2 seconds, which we're hopefully going to test, although the weather is not with us. <laughs> it's very wet, um, windy, horrible kind of day, but this is why it's quite nice to test this kind of vehicle. Um, should prove to be a really good car from what I like gather and from what I've seen on my drive from the 5. I have been mighty impressed, especially for the value, and that's why I'm quite excited to see what this drives like. It probably should be a little bit more nippier, low down, um, and hopefully the weight hasn't hindered the already decent handling performance. That being said, um, it is a great package. Like I say, 33 for the Comfort, 35 for the Noble uh, model, which has so many features and spec on it. Um, but yeah, I want to know what it drives like. Like I say, it's a little bit heavier, so it could be a bit more cumbersome, but the bods at Amodo are doing a great job with putting these cars together. Anyway, if you've got any questions, hit us up in the comments section and yeah, hope you enjoy the drive. So yes, onto the drive, we are in the Amodo E5. So uh, the electric version effectively of the Amodo 5. And yes, it's carrying a lot more weight or a good bit more weight because of that battery, but how will it affect the handling? Well, the Amodo 5, especially for the value, was decent. Around country, lumpy A and B roads, the car was really, really good. It had fairly soft suspension. It, yes, it rolled a little bit, but in general, it had good, comfortable suspension that was really good for the UK bumpy B roads. That being said, dynamically, it was decent but not outstanding now this has only added weight so is it going to be even worse all the bods have the bods at Amodo done something really really good with this chassis well on first feel i have to say it feels like they've made it even better but i'm going to delve into that a little bit more later but first and foremost let's talk about the interior it was already impressive on the 5, but this E5 has taken it up another notch. This digital display at the front used to be 10.5 um, inches. It's now 12.5 or 12.25 um, up front. Dual HD screens, so really, really high quality, crystal clear. They've upped the processing power on the infotainment as well. So the touchscreen is even more quicker to respond. It works really, really well. There's no haptic buttons to have to touch here, only physical buttons, which I like. Um, the space in here is beautiful. The interior is used with this synth from this synthetic lever to this kind of like, almost like wooden dash looking, but like granite like kind of dash. Beautiful. And the materials used from the, like I say plastics to even metals that they, they use a really high end and again it doesn't feel like a 33 or a 35,000 pound car this interior feels more akin to something that you genuinely would find in the market which would be 45 55 even 60,000 pounds it is absolutely amazing much like the uh, 5 this has the Sony beautiful Sony sound system in it eight speaker system um, a lovely generous um, space front and rear decent headroom and a large boot or well, 380 um, liters to be exact which is ample yes there's some in the range that are even bigger but once you fold down those two seats if you need to it's way over a thousand liters and this would be really really good for a family let me tell you not only that unlike the 5 this has USB-C and USB-A so it's got both ports whereas the 5 only had USB-A which was a little bit strange considering it's a relatively new vehicle that being said nothing that would trouble anyone much too much I'd say um, but yeah the general consensus is the quality is really really high it's got these same kind of bucket seats in here which are absolutely stunning very very comfortable on long journeys and short journeys 
Um, being the Noble, this has got the 360 degree camera. Um, and like I say, just general, generally, this is a really, really nice place to be. Um, but as I said, dynamically, what is this like? Now, the five was really decent, but dynamically I felt it did uh, lack a little bit when really really pushed on that being said for a £25,000 um, to have a car that has a seven year warranty on this model hundred um, seven years plus a uh, hundred mile um, thousand mile range as well as an eight year battery warranty and let me go on to the battery first and foremost the comfort model and the heavier um, albeit noble range cars are stated and quoted at a range of 257 mile range from what i'm told and from what i see that is very understated and they can go more especially the slightly lighter um, comfort model but if you go with the noble range that is kind of the least you're going to get if anything i'm hearing that bods are telling me they're getting a little bit more than that so they're quite conservative uh, on those figures which is really really good to hear um, and on that it uses a 61 kilowatt hour um, battery um, which puts out 204 uh, brake horsepower with 275 newton meters of torque with a 0 to 60 of um, 7.2 seconds we will test to see if we can better that or get at least that um, and it's w worth noting that it's a very efficient motor it's a lithium iron synchronized motor and it uses a blade motor technology which means that the electric motor is um, flat more compact and lighter and the electrical cables have been packed a certain way for thermal management and again for weight reduction as well so very very trick it, it makes for good range good efficiency and yeah um, also safety a lot of evs that you do see that are catching a light i say a lot there's not many but the blade technology puts it into a much safer bracket in terms of its thermodynamics and the way it doesn't overheat so a really good technology very very trick let's talk about kind of the technology on this or the the braking system it does have regen it has three um, different levels of regen none uh, will allow a true full complete um, one brake pedal solution that being said i'm not really worried about that if you do put it on the strongest one it does uh, much like the cooper Braun. it decels it um, quite nicely um, and and gets it quite close to a complete stop but not a complete stop but not something that i have worried about from my driving it so far it's got this 50 watt wireless charging for your your phones and it also has this little pad on here that has a cooling fan as well which is really really nice um the inside here in the cubby hold um this is all um got kind of um uh, cooling in here as well so you can put some drinks in it they'll stay nice and cool but that 50 watt high speed uh, wireless charger works really well and like i say it's got that a little cooling fan on there that doesn't overheat from my experience and from most people's experiences i'm sure you'll get overheating battery or really hot super hot phone this doesn't do that but yeah there's cup holders and cubby holds everywhere everything you would need for, like say from a good executive kind of company car or a car that does you know everything you need it to high high spec but one of the most important things i want to do is test the dynamics like i said the five was decent it just wasn't dynamically amazing that being said for a twenty-five thousand pound car with a seven year warranty it was overall absolutely phenomenal a great great brilliant car so it does this feel uh, better or worse now you'd think it would be worse but i have to say from a few um drives in this today it feels better i don't know what the bods at Amodo have done but it definitely rides better um it's probably if anything a little more firmer than the five but i think through that it's actually a real nice happy medium it's 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 soft enough to still um absorb these lumpy um b roads but at the same time i find that it's it feels like it corners a bit more flat and there's a lot less scramble um or less understeer should i say um which is really really good that being said the one thing that it does do that the um petrol combustion motor didn't do now admittedly i'm in a more wet environment i'm just going to put my foot down on the throttle now it literally wheel spins for fun and this is a single speed um automatic gearbox so seamless 
but you will feel that um, wheel spin and slip um, quite easily in the damp in the dry it's much much better but it still will tend to scramble a little bit but overall it definitely feels better dynamically it feels um, it feels more accomplished and it feels like it, it takes and handles the power a lot better as we join this road but it's got such good acceleration so if you join a slip road or something similar to what we've just seen there you can get up to the national speed limit so easily um, so it's it's a really really quick car so one thing i would say is low down um, this definitely feels more punchier and quicker than the um the five um, once it gets going there's not much in it um, but it definitely feels faster. That being said, the five was still a very, very fast car and surprisingly fast. I couldn't believe actually how much ground it would cover um, with the power that it had. Like I say, this has got a little bit more power, 204 versus um, 204 horsepower versus um, 186. Um, but it's it really has got a lot of get up and go. Uh, 0-60, we are going to test that for you in a bit just to see if we can better that or get similar and see how this is. But let's push it on a little bit more dynamically. Let's push it on uh, a bit more to see uh, whether the chassis is better than the 5 or whether it's suffered through the weight. Right, let's do a 0-60 to and let's see if we can beat this 7.2. Ready? 1, 2, 3, let's go. No scramble, which is good. Got the heat in the tyres. Done. Let's see that what that was. Right, so we have done 0 to 60 in 6.6 .6 seconds, but let's do a second test. Let's do one more. One, two, three. Here we go. Go. No scramble. Better, I think, possibly. Go, 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 go. No, that was actually a little bit slow. Let's do one more. 6.9 one thing i've just noticed is i was because i'd stopped i was actually in eco mode so let's have another go but in sports mode <laughs> ready steady that feels quicker but is it going to scramble a bit more no it definitely feels quicker come on yes right so that's one one pull 6.86 so it weren't any faster but let's do you know what i'm gonna just let the car cool down a tiny bit and then i'm gonna do one more pull for you and then we're gonna carry on dynamically pushing this a bit further because the the roads have really really dried up so there's no traction issues and i really want to exploit and push this chassis and see how good it actually is okay let's probably make this one our last one one two three go Oh, no, it didn't feel as good, did it? I think it's just traction control holding it back a little bit. Let's see what that was. Yes, it was, 6.36. Now, it didn't feel any quicker at all, um, but 6.36, um, that's verified as well. Yeah, 6.36, let's do one last one. One, two, three, go. No, it didn't feel as good, but then that last one didn't either. Let's have a look. 6.19. <laughs> yes, I'm Oda E5. 6.19, not to 60, verified. Guys, there you go. Um, if you weren't already impressed by this car, it is rapid. I have to say in the wet, obviously it struggles a little bit. It's just almost like too powerful um, for these tires. Um, that being said, it's, it doesn't feel um, unnerving. It feels brilliant. If anything, it still feels very safe. But the moment you plant your foot down, almost there's almost too much torque and power. But in general, it dries really, really well um, come rain or shine. That being said, it has dried up a lot and I do want to push this on a lot more. So let's do exactly that we've got it in sports mode and i will say with all the modos i've dr driven the 5 and the e5 the steering response is this is a little bit heavier as the modes go on but sports is definitely 
the mode for me, but it definitely feels more accomplished and a little bit less rolly in the E5 than it does the, um, the 5. But both are great little handling cars, but this one just feels that little bit better and I'm really, really pleased. But I'm gonna just turn around and do that same road again, because that's a nice little road to test this chassis before we sign off. Turning lock to lock is, um, it's got quite a, quite a long ratio, so to speak. It, you need to turn it quite a lot to get much lock. That being said, um, like I say, steering response is decently reactive and quick, um, but it does feel, you know, you can tell it's an EV on that front. Brakes are definitely better on this E5. They're a little bit more sharp, which some people won't like. I don't mind it as long as they're not too sharp. The modulation maybe on the five is a bit better. These are a bit more um, pin sharp, um, but they're definitely also stronger on this. But now it's got drier, this, uh, this does feel really, really fun, I have to say. It absorbs the lumps and bumps and these B roads really quite well. There's some horrible bumps there, but it just absorbs those really, really well. Sorry for the chimes, this is a very EV thing. You can turn them all off in the infotainment system. Haven't quite had enough time to do that, but let's give it and throw it a few more corners. Yeah, this definitely, this definitely feels better. Um, the five has got a lovely, comfortable chassis, but dynamically, when you throw it some tight, twisty corners, it feels a little bit more rolly than this E5. That being said, it's impressive all the same. Grip levels are really, really good. Like I say, since this is um, dried up, it has impressed me more and more. It's very comfortable. These seats are absolutely gorgeous. They're really comfortable. Even on a long journey, I've been sitting in this car for a long time, nearly an hour and a half. And I've been in the, um, the five for an hour and a half also. And really, really comfy, lovely seats, lovely interior, lovely place to be. Like I say, you just you just feel like you're in a much more luxurious, um, or should I say, more expensive car? Because at the end of the day, this deserves the plaud. It's it's, uh... and when the when the tra when the wetness comes out, the, the, those traction little limitations do come out. That being said, it is brilliant. It is a brilliant, brilliant car. And like I say, this is when the car, the power comes into its own. You're coming out of this a tight little junction cars are steaming along at 70 mile an hour and yes we get a little bit of scramble which is all good and fun and then we get up to the legal speed easily so quickly to be able to match the traffic now i said about the power and torque i did miss um uh miscommunicate the torque i was saying it was 275 uh, newton meters it's actually 340 newton meters and that makes you understand why it scrambles probably when it gets a little bit jibby and wet on the ground um yeah 340 newton meters of torque is a lot more extra um, grunt in terms of torque and obviously because it's an electric motor it's instant torque as well so it's instantaneously the moment you put your foot on the throttle it's it basically is there um, and with that how is this i i quite like the power delivery it's not sledgehammer like it's quite um uh, linear it's nice um underfoot and because of that it's it makes for a controllable car and you can control the chassis uh, underfoot under your right foot which is really really nice and that coupled with yeah the great braking system on this overall it's um there's not much to not like. I'm trying to find some negatives. But I'm really struggling to find anything. Again, for the money, it's a bit like that same drum that I keep on beating with the uh, five. 
I genuinely think if you're trying to get in an EV for 33, 35,000 pounds now, with a seven year warranty, eight year battery warranty, which is unheard of, also a fixed um, price service they do on this car as well, for as long as you go to one of their dealers, 24 hour delivery on parts by DHL if you have issues. The, the business model and the model of this car and a motor as a brand is incredible. I've listened to what they've had to say and I am so impressed. Anything that you would want from this car that you think isn't there, like if there's a negative, basically a motor takes it on, on board and they end up adapting and trying to make this car better every time um, to the extent that there's always over air updates, including what is gonna be your remote app, which is gonna let you preheat um, the seats, the interior, uh, much like you get on the Bourne and that's gonna be imminent. Um, but yeah, what's not to like, really good range, very efficient motor, great warranty, lovely handling, and I mean, an interior from that other car that should be £50,000 at least. It's beautiful and it's a lovely, lovely place to be. I think Amoda have done a great job with this car. And with that, I'm going to quickly find somewhere to debrief with you guys and um, we'll speak more. So that is the end of our video on the awesome Amoda E5. Much like the 5, which I did like, dynamically it was just lacking a little bit, although it was still very good. This E5 has just taken on a good another level, and I say with everything else that it's got on it, spec-wise, interior, for £33,000 for a Comfort and £35 for a Noble with what you get on this car, Genuinely, there is no better value vehicle, an EV uh, vehicle that has this range, this specification for that value. And for that reason, I genuinely think you'd have to spend at least £10,000 more for something like a, a Bourne, which wouldn't be this size. So when you get to the segment of where you look at the ones that are this kind of size, the Aria, um, even the MG4 really isn't on that like, like level and that same thing, the EV6, maybe things like that. Everything in the range for this kind of, let's say this range, performance, you're looking at around 50, 55,000 pounds. And certainly with that interior, for, to get that with a seven year warranty for 33 for a Comfort and 35 for a Noble, it's amazing. And I have to say, it looks really, really nice. I love it in this black as well. Got this little flap that opens as well for your EV charging, which is really, really um, practical when you go up to the EV stations and the chargers. And in, in general, it's just amazing. Like I say, in EV segment, I would give this uh, Peak Performance Reviews rating of 91%. Uh, and it's mainly because of the value. If you isolated the value and it was a 50,000 pound car, you'd probably say, yes, it's 84, 83 um, percentile kind of range. But as an EV for the value and for how much this costs, it, yeah, I'd give it a peak performance reviews rating of around 91%. And overall, I think it's a great, great car. And if you're in the market for one, go check them out. Links in the bio to everything. Um, massive thanks to Amodo UK for the drive. And I look forward to doing more in the future with them. I think if these two platforms that I've driven so far on the Amoda is anything to go by, with their experience and 21 years of experience in, in China, they obviously know what they're doing. And I am very, very impressed. And I look forward to my next drive in an Amodo. And yeah, been a great car. Um, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. As always, like, share, comment, and subscribe. See you again in the next one. Bye for now.